It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Fulham up against Leeds United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. In this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good and a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, they're playing the same shape, really, so it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Tim Ream. Reed now. Reed. Well, harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing. Weston McKenney. Well, the problems on the road are there for all to see. In fact, Stuart, they have statistically the worst away record in the league. Well, their away form has been so poor, just the one win. But I do think they have a decent squad. It's just a case of getting the best out of them. Something needs to change today, whether it's the tactics, the attitude or the system. Superb block. Verba. McKenney. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And still looking to get the shot away. Kenny Tete Pereira and Reed with it Palinha Mitrovic effort from long distance corner given Who can he pick out? Well, not cleared away completely. Diop. Here's William. And it was a great chance for 1 0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Nyonto 
Harrison. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Weston McKenney. High quality defending. Pereira. McKenney. Safe pair of hands did his job. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Harrison. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Crossing possibilities. Cross towards that far post. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. And the referee's whistle. We're officially at the halfway mark here in West London. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Pereira. That's a good looking ball in behind. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. One nil, then. Number 20, William. Aronson Tyler Adams Weston McKenney Possession one Into the advanced position Can he take the chance? And another one! Two quick goals Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Goal for 
So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Harrison. Tyler Adams. A chance to whip it in. Disappointing pass. Well, we're into the final half hour. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. A glorious chance. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So the corner played into the box. And the problem not completely solved. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Now let's see about the cross. Not all that convincing defensively. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, Fulham haven't had that much of the ball so far, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Chance to cross. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Strauch. Adams. On to Bamford. 15 minutes left for play. Weston McKenney. On the ball, Luke Ayling. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, mopping up defensively. Intercepting it intelligently. Harry Wilson. Mitrovic. Long way out this. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it, he couldn't have hit that any better. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Sinistera. Patrick Bamford. Well, he wasn't Messerance. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Delivering it. Well, not cleared away completely. Rodrigo. Oh, great defending. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Well, they might be onto something. And the ball is loose. And able to get a body in the way. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, far from ideal from a Leeds United perspective. Where did it go wrong? Well, quite simply, that's not good enough. 
too many of the players aren't performing and their tactical understanding is non-existent. But I'm not overly surprised. This is becoming the norm in away games.